Okay, so we have a question here. And this question is from a lady who made a comment on one of our previous videos about top 10 Ramadan frequently asked questions. And she commented, how about pregnant Muslim woman? And so this video is for her and anyone who can relate to her question. <laughs> A pregnant Muslim woman is obliged to fast, just like anyone else, unless she fears for herself and for her baby, in which case it is permissible for her not to fast. There is a verse in Surah Al-Baqarah that says, And as for those who can fast with difficulty, they have a choice either to fast or to feed a miskin or a poor person every day. One of the companions, Ibn Abbas, commented on this verse. He said, This was a concession granted to old men and old women who are able to fast but it is difficult. So they are allowed not to fast and must feed one poor person for each day. And for those who are sick or pregnant, if they fear for their children, they are allowed not to fast and must feed one poor person for each day. In the case of a pregnant woman, one of two scenarios must apply. Number one, if she is strong and active and fasting does not cause any hardship to her and affect her baby. This woman is obliged to fast because she has no excuse for not fasting. Number two, when a woman is not able to fast because the pregnancy is too difficult for her or because she is physically weak or for some other reason, in this case, she should break the fast, especially if it will cause harm to her baby, in which case, she is obliged not to fast. Sheikh Ibn Baz, one of the great scholars of Islam, said regarding this matter, Pregnant and breastfeeding women come under the same ruling as those who are sick. If fasting is too difficult for them, it is prescribed for them to break the fast, and they have to make up miss fast when they are able to do so, just as in the case of one who is sick. This is also indicated by the hadith of Anas ibn Malik, according to which the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Allah has exempted the traveler from the obligation of fasting and has reduced the prayer by half for him and has exempted pregnant and breastfeeding women from the obligation of fasting. Wallahu a'lam and Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum. If you're new here, my name is Omar Abdullah, content creator and a student of knowledge. My goal is to share authentic Islamic knowledge in a bite-sized, digestible chunks. If you're loving this content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here.